On the Citroën uh, C4, the ECU located is here we go the EGR valve is completely full with uh, lots of lots of yeah nasty after smoke what's left after burn it's a uh, yeah it's a clean dirt mostly completely full and one side is a little bit off that's what happens when the EGR valve is open under this nice little cover which one you don't need to spray with the um, washer here you go this is electronic control unit you can pull it out pretty easy because it sits in here nice and steady just unclip those two but before that make sure you remove this clip off just like that and now you can remove the ECU plugs with the any screwdriver just pull a little bit little plastic clip in and then you can pull off this plastic in here just unplug it one the same do in next one just like that and the same on next one just push it in pull it clip with the one hand pretty easy but with the two hands I would say gonna be more easy and now just what you need to do yeah just pull it out I would say just like that pull this little thing out make sure it's not connecting any wires with the one hand as you can see a little easy and a little not a big job here you go we had a EDC 16 C34 before we program this ECU it's very important to do the full backup otherwise you're gonna lost your injector codes uh, if you're gonna try to read it through the OBD port so I would say recommend the most how to say probably the most safety way is always dissolve the ECU and read the full backup for that reason there's a thermal paste all the way around you need to heat it up before that you need to get these bolts off and get the ECU off and then we're gonna do a reprogramming job we're gonna reprogram the EGR valve and yeah make engine run with the fresh air good so here we go we had already open up uh, EDC um, 16 uh, C34 EC unit uh, for the Citroen car and inside as we can see is a MPC 5 series it's a Motorola processor so that is the thing which one we need to read out and get the old stuff out of it as you can see I had an adapter so these little pins is have to be uh, pretty I would say pretty 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 um, precise and pretty uh, good fitted on so then you have a good contact to read it out and that's gonna be how you're gonna read out all this thing from the car and that's what we're gonna do now then we're gonna exchange the software and we're gonna reprogram it we're gonna do a power up uh, of course it's not gonna be a very much but definitely it's gonna be more than five percent plus it's not a big deal but anyway you will feel the car a little bit better to to get running on and then and then yeah and the most important thing we're gonna do the EGR reprogram so reprogramming the EGR gives us uh, clean air it uh, not gonna give you any faults anymore about the EGR the valve is not gonna be sticking anymore stucking um, yeah it's gonna be clean air it's not gonna be uh, lots of dirt inside of the engine and I will guarantee the smoke which one gonna come out it's gonna be more and more better that's definitely because uh, when the EGR is faulty and the car driving like I said it's gonna be like driving one month or two months with, with the faulty EGR it's gonna be most worth thank you very much okay here we go we're gonna test let's pull it out whoa that's very good oh nice that's the torque 
So now EGR is off and everything is just perfect. It runs good, turbo switching on from the uh, 2000 RPM and we had uh, nearly 80 kilowatts on here on the power, so that's kind of cool. Alright, good.